Hello everybody, how are you? I hope everybody is happy and healthy. Yeah, today we are going to learn English grammar with me, Mr. Pandi. It's been so long that we haven't met each other. Yeah, okay, what is it? Yeah, of course, we miss you too. Yeah, hope things will get better soon so that we can meet each other. Okay then, uh, before we start, I want you to prepare your English textbook. Okay, then English workbook. Then, good job. Okay, let's get started. Today, we are going to talk about indefinite pronouns some, any, no, and every. So let's start. What is indefinite pronouns? Indefinite pronouns is a word that does not refer to a specific person, thing, or place. Let's see. We add some, any, no, and every with body or one to talk about people. For example, somebody, anybody, nobody, everybody, or someone, anyone, no one, and everyone. Let's take a look at the function. First, somebody or someone. We use somebody or someone when we do not know who the person is. For example, there is someone at the bar. So, we, we do not know exactly who is in the bar. So, there is someone. And then, somebody just knocked at the door. Who is that? Somebody. Because we do not know exactly the person is. But somebody just knocked the door. Next, anybody and anyone. We use it when, when it is not important to say who the person is. Or, we use it in a negative sentence. Take a look at the example. Anybody can use the computer at the library. So, anybody, it can be the students, can be the teachers, so it's not important to say who the person is. Just anybody can use the computer. Next, there is not anyone in the classroom. It's an example of negative sentence because there is a word not. There is not anyone in the classroom. Okay, next. Nobody and no one. We use it to say that there is not even one person at anywhere. For example, there is nobody at the hall. Nobody. Not even one person at the hall. Okay? Second one. No one comes to school during quarantine. No one. Not even one person comes to school during quarantine. Did you get it? Okay, good. Let's continue. Everybody and everyone. We use it to talk about all people or all people in a group. So it refers to all people or all people in a group. For example, the bookshops have giveaway books for everybody. It means for all people, everybody. Okay? Second one. Everyone is allowed to play in the playground. Everyone. It means that all people. Yeah? Okay. I hope you understand. So let's continue. Next. Some, any, no, every, plus thing. It becomes something, anything, nothing, and everything. We use something, anything, nothing, and everything to talk about things. 
Let's take a look at the example. First, something. We use something when we do not know what the thing is. For example, something on the shelf looks tempting. There is something on the shelf. We do not know what exactly the thing is. But it looks tempting. Okay? Second, there is nothing... I'm sorry. There is something on the window. We do not know what the thing is. But something on the window. So, that's how we use something. Second, anything. We use anything first when it is not important to say which thing it is. For example, you can read anything you want. It's not important to say which book to read, but you can read anything, yeah? any books you want. Okay? Okay, next. We use anything in a negative sentence. For example, there is not anything in the fridge. Not anything. Yeah, it's a negative sentence here. Not. Next, nothing. We use nothing to say that there is not even one thing. Not even one thing. Take a look at the examples. There is nothing interesting here. Not even one thing is interesting here. Okay? Next. Nothing is interesting here. Nothing. Yeah? Not even one thing is interesting. Last one. Everything. Yeah? We use everything to talk about all things or all things in a group. For example, Everything in the bookstore is useful. Everything. It means that all things in a bookstore is useful. Okay. Next. Okay. Now, let's discuss the practice. Please open your textbook page 53. Textbook page 53. Okay. Now, Complete the sentences using some, any, no, or every. Number one. There is nothing. Yeah. There is nothing I want to buy here. Let's go to the shop next door. Did you take a word? Okay, good. Next, number two. Number two. I heard somebody. I heard somebody or someone call my name just now. Did you got it correct? Good. Next, number three. There is not anything. Yeah, there is not anything to do here. I am bored, Dewi said. Number four. I cannot decide which book to read first. I wish I could read everything at the same time. Okay, number five. I'm sure there is something you like better than all other things. There is something you like. Next, number six. The shops are closed. Everyone, yeah, you can use everyone or everybody has gone home. Okay, next, number seven. All of us are at the library. There is, yeah, nobody or no one at home. Number eight. I do not think there is anyone in the school. Or, I do not think there is anybody in the school. It's a holiday today. Yeah, of course, everyone is learning at home. Okay, so, have you checked your word? Good. Now, let's move to the workbook. Please prepare your workbook. 
All right. Now let's discuss the practice from the workbook page 39. English workbook page 39. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Fill in the blanks with the words in the box. Yeah. Use each word only once. Okay. Let's discuss. Mrs. Tay asked the class, Does anybody, yeah, does anybody want to help me clean the library on Saturday morning? Then number two, yeah, everybody, everybody put up their hands. They all wanted to help. Good. Paragraph two. We can have lunch together, the children said. All the children wanted to bring some food, but... Yeah, nobody wanted to bring any drinks. Please check your word. So, Mrs. Day said she would bring some fruit juice for the children. Mmm, yummy. Next, on Saturday, the children helped clean the library. Very quickly, good job. Everything was clean. And then, Nothing was dirty or in a mess. Well done, everyone. Next. Every book was in the correct place. After lunch, when the library was clean, there wasn't anything for the children to do. Okay. Last paragraph. Then, somebody asked, Can we do... Something fun, Mrs. Tay? Mrs. Tay smiled and said, Sure, let's go out and play some games. Yeah, good job, everybody. Okay, now I have another practice for you to do. Uh, please do it correctly. Yeah, do the following instruction. First, download the PDF file I have attached here in Google Classroom. Okay? As you have download the file, then do the word correctly. Yeah, it's still about indefinite pronouns. Yeah, and then submit your word in PC in Google Classroom. Yeah, you can uh, capture your word and post it or upload it in Google Classroom uh, to turn in, and then done. Okay, uh, I hope you can do. Uh, seriously for the individual practice I ask you to do the following instructions yeah so I have attached a PDF file in Google classroom so please download the file yeah and do the word it's still about indefinite pronouns yeah there are some questions for you to do to finish after you're done don't forget to check your word do it properly and then you can submit it to your teachers in Google Classroom yeah as usual capture your word upload it in Google Classroom and then click turn in okay so that's all for me today I hope everybody is still happy healthy and see you in the next session for our learning and having fun okay mr bandu sign out good luck everybody bye bye that's all for today so how is it it's fun right okay so if you have any questions please post in google classroom so that the teachers can respond it soon okay i'll see you in another discussion which is more fun and more interesting okay don't forget stay healthy stay safe stay at home eat healthy food don't forget to wash your hand and see you when i see you we miss you guys bye